Coming up, a bill has moved forward for welfare recipient drug testing and a 12-year-old boy shoots his neighbor. Your News Valdosta starts right now. Welcome to News Valdosta. I'm Andrew Parker. Lawmakers in Georgia have passed a bill moving welfare drug testing forward. This bill would require welfare recipients to take a drug test before receiving a government handout. Opponents of this bill say it's unconstitutional, but GOP supporters say it will save taxpayers money. It will aim for what supporters call misuse of a government benefit. Senator Jason Carter from Atlanta says the state has to have a rationale to single out one group. However, supporters say it's lawful according to the 1996 Welfare Reform Act. If the House concurs to this modification, the bill will head to Governor Deal. A 12-year-old boy in East Georgia was charged in the shooting of his 10-year-old neighbor. The victim, Hunter Morris, was playing video games in the 12-year-old's home when he began playing with his parents' gun. Police say that the 12-year-old was pointing the gun in different directions and pulled the trigger several times until it discharged and hit Morris in the head. The police say it appears the shooting was accidental. Investigators are trying to figure out what led a captain aboard a commercial airliner to begin acting strangely, including yelling and banging on the cockpit door. This scary incident was captured on video. Greg Black has the report. Terrifying moments aboard what should have been a routine flight from New York to Las Vegas. This remarkable video shot by a passenger shows several people rushing to subdue JetBlue 191's flight captain who'd begun acting erratically and yelling incoherent comments about needing to get the plane down and about the Middle East. <laughs> Authorities say the captain got up to leave the cockpit during the flight and his co-pilot, already concerned about his behavior, locked him out, triggering the rants. Other crew and passengers held the pilot down until the flight could be diverted to Amarillo, Texas, where he could be safely removed and the flight could continue on. David Gonzalez says he was one of the men who subdued the pilot. He started to curse at me, you know, trying to tell me, hey, you better pray, uh, Iraq and Iran. And so I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to show you what Iraq and Iran is. And I took him on a chokehold. While many in the incident are being called heroes, one passenger praised one in particular. The co-pilot of, uh, of the flight, you know, he really, I think, is the hero here because he had the, uh, the sense to recognize that something was going horribly wrong. In what likely helped, some say they were traveling because of a security conference and had law enforcement backgrounds. I'm Greg Black reporting. The City of Valdosta Public Works Department, Keep Lounge and Valdosta Beautiful, and Atlanta Recycling Solutions are collaborating to host the Spring Electronic Recycling Event this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event helps citizens properly dispose of their outdated or unwanted electronic equipment. The event will be held at Mathis Auditorium. Wiregrass Tech has been recognized for reaching out to high school students. Wiregrass and some of its faculty were awarded dual enrollment awards for its work with such college credit programs. The Technical College offers a variety of early college enrollment plans. Students may participate in ACCEL, dual enrollment, joint enrollment, or move on when ready programs. Coming up, amendments to an abortion bill into a roadblock, and a former Tuskegee Airman speaks to Valasa State. Stay with us. Beef tattoos live post everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. Kath, have you heard from Patty and Richard yet? Yes. Patty was going to stop and pick up a pie, and Richard was going to file for Medicare. Filing for Medicare? We won't eat till midnight tomorrow. Richard's filing for Medicare online at socialsecurity.gov. It takes less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I had to go to the office and wait. Online. What about the paperwork? Online. Uh, but Richard's still working. Online. Hey. You made it. No problem, Papo. I got the pie. And I got my Medicare. And I've got the turkey. You get that online too? Welcome back to News Valdosta. Georgia House lawmakers rejected a bill that the Senate wants to pass that would ban abortions after 20 weeks. Two backed amendments failed. 
One would have protected doctors who performed abortions from being held criminally accountable. The second would have exempted the so-called medically futile pregnancies in which the fetus has no chance of surviving. Senators can now insist on their version or come up with a compromise. The bill dies if a compromise is not reached by tomorrow. Last Thursday, Valdosta State University and its Air Force ROTC welcomed retired Lieutenant Colonel Leo R. Gray of the Tuskegee Airmen. Colonel Gray is one of 40 African-American pilots who fought against Germany during World War II and flew 15 combat missions for a total of 750 hours during his 41 years of service. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black military pilots to serve the United States despite the lack of confidence the military had in an all-black air unit. A special viewing of a documentary about the Tuskegee Airmen entitled, In Their Own Words, was broadcasted for the community of Valdosta and its students. A Turkish research and design company has made significant improvements to the wheelchair. The new design from AMS Mechatronic serves as a wheelchair, but it also helps the users to stand up. This is done with spring balances on a unique suspension system. The Tech RMD may not replace the wheelchair, but it fits easier into small, tight spaces. According to a study published in the Archives of Internal Medicine, eating chocolate has, a lower effect, has an effect on lowering body mass index, or BMI. After surveying 1,000 men and women about their weekly food consumption, it was reported that those who ate chocolate had a lower BMI without exercising or eating less. Additional research has shown that dark chocolate is high in antioxidants and that chocolate causes a higher metabolism. Chocolate also benefits the body by lowering the risk of heart disease. Taking a look at your local weather, well, Valdosta, along with high pollen alerts, you can at least enjoy some really nice springtime weather. Today, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 87 degrees. There's a 10% chance of rain today with an overnight low of 59 degrees. Looking towards tomorrow, expect mostly sunny skies ahead with a high of 88 degrees. Coming up, Closings for Lowndes County, the Mega Millions Jackpot Breaks Records, and your campus events. Stay with us. I am Joan Rivers with an important announcement. Getting old is horrible, okay? Horrible. You're not old. I mean, you're I'm older, old. but you're not old. You want to see old. Oh, God. Yes. Grow up, for goodness sakes. The last man to hit on me was an undertaker. I know what you I, I, I don't want to talk about well, this. Well, you're going to have to talk about it. It's the future. It's coming right at us. And I'm not worried about dying. It, it's getting there. I mean, Heaven is going to be fabulous. It's going to be a giant shopping mall, and there's going to be 20% off on everything except for me, 44. You know, you're doing jokes, and yes. I'm just not ready. Well, you have to be ready. You have to listen to me. Look, there are things to discuss. They're going to be my needs. They're going to be my wants. Uh, you know, Mom, I, I just I don't want to hear this. Oh, I just don't want to hear this. La, la, la. Don't la. give me la, no, la, no, la, no, la, la, la. I don't. I can't. I Talk can't do this. to your family about uh -uh. aging, even no. if they're not ready to listen. Mm -mm. Come on, listen to me. Listen to me. For the first time? Yes, for the first time. No matter who you are, it's not easy talking about aging. For help, go to voa.org slash talk. A message from Volunteers of America. Welcome back to News Valdosta. I'm Andrew Parker. The city of Valdosta will be closed on Friday, April 6th in observance of Good Friday. The Sanitation Division will only be collecting residential garbage on Good Friday. Citizens should have their green trash cans at the curb by before 5.30 a.m. on Friday to make sure that their garbage is picked up. The Public Works Department can be contacted for more information. Taking a look at our campus events, the Office of Career Services will host its annual Spring Career Expo today from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the University Center Magnolia Room. The Career Expo will give VSU students the opportunity to network and speak with different companies such as Target, South Georgia Medical Center, the Valdosta Police Department, and the FBI for possible hire. The VSU softball team will become the nation's number one ranked team today. When the latest Division II polls are released, the Blazers, who are 25-2 on the season and currently riding a 19-game winning streak. VSU is the favorite to win the national championship this season and will look to take another step towards that direction today as the Blazers welcome St. Leo to the softball complex for a 4 p.m. Game 1 first pitch. Beginning tomorrow and through April 4th, the VSU Department of Theater and Dance will present Rodgers and Hammerstein's State Fair. The performance will begin at 7.30 p.m. tomorrow through to the 4th, except on Sunday, April 1st, it will be held at 3 p.m. The show will take place in the Sawyer Theater in the Fine Arts Building. The Mega Millions jackpot hit a record with its current contest. 
The top prize reached nearly a half billion dollars after no one won the Tuesday drawing. The amount jumped to $476 million, breaking its 2007 record of $390 million. The drawing is the largest prize and will be held Friday night. Thanks for watching News Valdosta. I'm Andrew Parker. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.